a free tangent. Okay, so this arm, it's similar to the previous arm. The only difference here is no difference. The only difference is a way that it uh, exposed the uh, roundness or the curvature controls for you. So I'm just going to build one. And, well, no big difference up to here, but then we have this tangent visibility. So we can see now we have extra controls there that can allow you to um, control this. And two extra there that it's not doing too much. Um, but if you use roundness, you can see it's cranking a little bit the the tangents there, and you can use it to have an extra control there. Let me redo this with a little more subdivision so it's uh, easier to see where it's going on there. So I'm just gonna play this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seven, seven. That's a nice number. Build. Okay, now we have uh, way more. Again, this one. And you can see here. This is one, and this is the other. So you have this kind of uh, horse arms thing that some char uh, cartoon characters needs. So that's it. The other options are exactly the same for the both. Uh, just one last note uh, is the way that it's solved the um, the first one the default arm to joints it's uh, using the uh, roll spline solver from M Gear to make the bend this one it's using the uh, IK spline solvers uh, and it's heavier heavier slower. Yeah, so if you have uh, many characters using this component, uh, it's the frame rates are going to be slower than using the other. So remember, if you don't need this feature, I will recommend to use the other one because it's, it's lighter and you have almost all the features. So yeah, now that's it. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.